Hello, it's been a while. I didn't want it to be this long since I last saw you in a vlog because I was trying to keep up with the weekly upload on YouTube. But life, you make plans and you know, the universe just does something else. <laughs> so basically, I've been traveling back and forth um, London and I've just been very busy, swamped in work. So I've not had time to even create content. I managed to capture like little bits of um, vlog footage out there while trying to get work done but also I have been unwell so for the past couple of weeks I've just been resting, recuperating, making sure I get back to full health before I get back into work mode and also content creation. I hope you've been doing well. It's less than two weeks to Christmas. Oh my god! <laughs> yes and it snowed in Manchester okay i'm getting derailed but i need to go now because i've got a shoot to do and later on i'm meeting my friends um rosie and samio in town and we're gonna have a nice meal in mowgli which is an indian street food restaurant really lovely in manchester it's in the print works in case you live in manchester and you're watching this vlog yeah so i just thought i'll give you a quick update um before i carry on with the vlog because I know I haven't really spoken much and I just wanted to check in on you. I hope you're all keeping well. Wrap up. Don't get derailed by the snow because I did and I went out to play in the snow to have a great time and then I call a cold. Either that or, you know, I wasn't taking care of myself because I've been so busy with work. But yeah, nice to see you and um, let's carry on with the vlog. A little different than all the rest I'm quite old fashioned where I had sometimes played chess And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage flame But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score shooting a campaign for Estee Lauder and the campaign is all about this scent which is supposed to be fresh and summery and beautiful <laughs> but unfortunately we are in winter and this is how you fake a picnic indoors basically. I've got tablecloth and napkins which have a very picnic feel to it and then we've got um, fruits, the perfume of course, Oasis Dawn some flowers to add to it and not forgetting a picnic basket to give that whole illusion of having a very summery picnic. Scents have a way of taking me down memory lane and Estee Lauder Oasis Dawn transports me to a place of tranquility. Recalling picnics and blooms with my imagination running free as I immerse myself in the majestic wonder of nature. My equanimity allows me to embrace and appreciate life's little moments. Hello from London. We arrived yesterday and we are staying at the Gorin in Belgravia and we are also exploring Belgravia as well. This is our hotel room which I'm going to quickly show you. This is our bedroom. Of course, we have slept in bed. Down there, we've got the bathroom on the left. I'm not going to go in because we don't have time. We are quite limited in time. But this is our breakfast spread from this morning. And voila, oh, we've got this little chill out corner over here. And look at these windows and the view from this place but let's step into the balcony check this out just look at this sit here enjoy a nice glass of champagne because we got some yesterday when we checked in this is what it looks like yeah okay wonderful and we are ready to carry on with our day Yeah. 
jingle them bells and frolic Oh my gosh, some stolly Eggnog, gin and tonic Make Yuletide gay and jolly Same procedure every year I just can't get enough I drink till Rudolph reappears A toast to him, that red nose dear Jingle them bells and frolic It's the best day of the year Come fly with me now, Rudy I'm loaded Hours and minutes till the last week of December. For me, the Christmas. quick rundown of the outfit I wore for the shoot. It is by a brand called La Sama. I discovered them on Instagram. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing the name correctly but they're French and this is actually a dress. It is not a skirt suit as it presents. <laughs> I love it and um, as soon as I saw it on Instagram I was like this is perfect because I love to go for timeless pieces and this piece is definitely one that I see myself wearing for a long while. The bag is by Self Portrait. It is a micro bag, the cutest thing you will ever see. And we've got matching shoes which are from Ted Baker. They're oldies but goodies as you will no, I love to wear um, outfits over and over again, so. just finished the shoot for Flores London. It is a Christmas campaign. Look at my Christmas tree. Whee! It's a small one but I like it. And here we've got candles from the gift set collection. We've got here Lily of the Valley Bat Essence. We've also got here a rose for whoever you want to give the rose to and a bigger bottle of that scent over here with a nice note telling you about the scent, a rose for you. Yeah, so that's the collection. Perfect for gifting this season. Flores London is a British brand. I've been to them before and you can go into their store and they will make you your own customized scents. I own quite a few of their pieces. So I just thought I'll quickly show you. Baby, each time. See, 
Last night was a blast at the season 25 Christmas party. We've just woken up um, to breakfast in the hotel room. We are staying at page eight hotel in Mayfair in London, I believe. And this is the view from our window. Pretty neat. We've got this chill area over here and the bathrooms over there. Yeah. In the quiet evening, snow is falling. And from every window shines a light. Today I will be unboxing all these Christmas PR mail so you can see what's inside. Okay, let's do this. First of all, I will be starting off with Rue Sloan. It is by a brand or a content creator called Claire. And she started this brand, Rue Slow. I was at the event a couple of weeks ago in London for the launch of the brand. And I got a scrunchie, which is very neat because I tend to wear bows and scrunchies. And this actually matches with what I'm wearing right now. This two piece set is from Sister Jane, by the way. You guys know I love them. I tend to get a lot of PR and over the years, um, the more I've grown on social media, as well as the more I create content, brands tend to send me more stuff in the mail. So the next one is gonna be this advent calendar from Carton Tower Jumeirah. It is a hotel in London, it's a luxury hotel in London um, that I've worked with and this, um, Advent calendar was designed by students at the London College of Fashion, as you can see here. And it's rather interesting because in the advent calendar, we have got um, different boxes, but each one is a Christmas decoration um, that I can hang on my Christmas tree. <laughs> Um, but it's very much fashion inspired because it's been made, like I said, from students from the London College of Fashion. So each box kind of like has a unique style and design of like clothing. Look at this one as well. So you kind of like get the picture. I'm going to hang it on my tree, which is behind me because I've got a small Christmas tree this year. This one is by Cartier. I don't know what's inside, but there was a pop-up store in Selfridges in Manchester, which is still here until the 23rd, this Friday of December. Um, and they gave me this, which I am going to unbox right now, but it looks like it is tightly sealed. So bear with me as I unwrap this. Let me know what your plans are for the holidays in the comment box down below. As for me, I'm going to be eating, sleeping and catching up on loads of TV shows. Currently at the moment, I'm watching one called The Old Man. Okay, we've got that out. That one's on Disney Plus, by the way, in case you're wondering. This has been neatly wrapped. Oh, beautifully wrapped. Let's see. In the, oops, there we go. Why do I feel like this might be a candle? It says Cartier there. Nice box. They always say, oh, I guessed right. It is a candle. So, yeah. Let's see. Hmm. It smells, oh, the design. You know, it's got the classic Cartier logo on this side beautiful oh nice put that away in this corner while we carry on with the unboxing up next we've got this PR mail from what are they called again? Oh, Granado. 
They are a Brazilian brand that have just broken into the UK and they are stocked at Liberty London because I got invited to the summer event this year and the brand is really beautiful. Their scents are beautiful. They do perfumes, they do home scents, candles, absolutely divine. So this perfume is called Bomier. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly and the design you can just see the design of the box is absolutely stunning the details that have gone into it i love gold and this is like burgundy beautiful and here we have got a candle from them as well and this one is called kuro the scent i'm gonna open up the candle and show you what that looks like so that's what it looks like Mm, smells absolutely divine and you can see it's actually quite filled up to the top so you get a lot you know sometimes the candles actually start here but this is actually up to the brim which is good okay and i believe there is another scent in here or oh, what is this this packaging is really nice this one's called duo Duo Cedro. I didn't even pronounce it correctly. Okay. So this is an eau de toile and bath soap. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. I did not take French in school. But I love the colour of the blue. Very, very stunning. It reminds me of like vintage blue. So beautiful. And that's it from Granada. Next up, we've got a package from Molten Brown. The first one is this box, um, red and gold design, stunning, perfect for the season. And we have got um, shower gel, um, body lotion, and I believe a perfume scent. That's what it looks like. Close up this box, got a few more boxes um, in here, which I'm going to bring out and show you. I've got another nice box here. Let's see. Open this up. Okay. So here we have got um, black pepper bath and shower gel and black pepper body scrub bar. This is what it looks like up nice and close. Part of the Christmas collection. And it smells. I mean, the box smells divine because nothing's open in here, so I can't say for sure that's what this smells like. But this is very Christmassy, this one. Merry Berries and Mimosa. Yeah, Merry Berries and Mimosa. And this is a bath and shower gel. Hmm. Let me open it. Mm. Oh, it smells divine. That's a good one. And then we've got another box in here, which gonna open up and this oh this looks like a, a bowl for a christmas tree it is so cute oh it's lovely okay put this aside and then we've got um the merry berries and mimosa body lotion as well in here and i'm just gonna set this aside while i pick up the next box to show you Next up, we've got this package by Mina London. They are a Spanish brand. I actually met with them last week. They came to Manchester at the Lowry Hotel and they introduced me to the brand and some of the collection. And they have actually sent me some items for me to have a look at. This one is called 503, that viral nude pink perfect perfect nude basically um i was told that they're very big in spain and they were trying to break into the uk market um hence why they were doing a tour around the uk introducing the brand to people in the uk oh this is a nice nude lip gloss I am a lip gloss kind of girl um, every now and again, so this is good. And then we have got here um, the automatic lip pencil.
Mm, it's just the same shade as the nude lip gloss so that would work really well with it just put that aside and i'm guessing it's probably going to be the same with every box in here but i'll just open one more let's see if it is the same beauty is all the colors so they're very colorful brand and they encourage people to embrace color oh no it's not the same stuff that's inside so i might have to go through all of them so you can see for yourself here we've got 306 the 24 hour cream eyeshadow uh -huh. this is a cream eyeshadow quite pinky and glittery very it reminds me of like something that's from outer space like very galactic if you will okay so i guess it's not the same stuff as inside every box and here we have got the color pen liner and the 24 hour eye stick in different shades Ooh, colored pen eyeliner, blue eyeliner. This is very interesting. I might try this actually. Not today, because today I am makeup free, letting my skin and uh, my skin breed because I have been traveling a lot and my skin is in need of a refresh. And this one is the 24 hour eye stick. So I guess you put it in your eyelid like your lower eyelid and it's green and it stays very interesting like i said their brand there encourages people to embrace color lean into themselves rather than stick with the everyday nudes which is what i tend to actually go for when it comes to like makeup um i tend to err on the side of minimalism if you will and finally this one is called 900 the essentials you need which has a lot of black products inside black um, I get, uh, yeah 900 lipstick um there was a lovely lady madam joyce i'm not sure if you're familiar with her she has this podcast called cocktails and takeaway and our, at our end of year um talent party she wore black lipstick and it was absolutely stunning so this is something that i will definitely be trying to see what that looks like um yeah And here we've got a um, 24-hour level of mascara. You guys know what a mascara looks like, so I'm not going to um, go into any of that. As well as um, the 24-hour pen liner. You know what a black pen liner looks like, I presume. <laughs> well, I hope you do. Yeah. So I'll just put this away and we will go on to the next box. Next up, we have one from L'Occitane and it's part of your Christmas collection. This one is called L'Occitane and Province. Um, so let's see what's inside. Here we've got a serum, Immortal Divine. So if you want immortality, apparently you need this. <laughs> um, and cream, face cream as well as um, eye and lip contour. Uh, that's what we've got in here from L'Occitane. Here we've got a package from Rosewood. They are a luxury hotel chain and I've been working with them a lot this year. I went to Madrid with them. I went to Vienna as well as London to um, enjoy and experience your rosewood hospitality and this is a box that's been sent let's open it and see what's inside if i can get into it yes okay oh so it's postcards <laughs> from places where i believe their hotels actually exist and um yeah these are lovely i guess i could write notes and envelopes as well and send it to people yeah this is a very thoughtful gift i do like gifts like this put that away 
and I've got a Christmas card from them and this looks like a Christmas tree and there's a note behind which reads dear Oni sending you and your loved ones one best our best wishes for a wonderful holiday and a happy new year best Trisha from the Rosewood hotel collection and that is a nice and thoughtful gift from Rosewood next up we have a package from Carrier Flares which means the Carrier Brothers in French in English because it's French um, my French is not great in case you haven't noticed and uh, when you open the box the box itself is just beautiful I mean I love the design because it's flowers I love flowers I mean look at my pillows flowers look at me flowers um, I mean Christmas tree behind me but um, the painting behind me flowers and there's a note the note actually reads there are some strange evenings where flowers have souls oh my god Beautiful Poetry by Albert Samain or Sama, if that was French pronouncing it. Um, and here we've got a note telling us about the scents. And it reads, Carrier Fresh thanks you for your trust and wishes for this new year. To start on a second note, may 2023 surprise you daily with countless gifts of nature give way to new aspirations and green horizons that replenish you. We wish you a happy new year, abound with botanical scents. <laughs> Bring a bit of nature into your home with this seed printed paper card. Oh my God, plant it and watch the plants blossom like the beginning of your year. So this card is something you can plant because it's got seeds in it and it will grow. Oh my God, this is amazing. So in here, they have sent some goodies from Blushing Cook, which I believe is cookies. Let's open it up. Oh my days, this is just so beautiful. I love it when people are very thoughtful. Just look at this. Oh, we are gonna eat this tonight. While we watch TV tonight. Okay, I'm getting carried away. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh my God, just look at this. A customized Christmas stocking. Oh my God. I have never had a Christmas stocking in my life. In my life, I have never had one. This is my first, so thank you so much. <laughs> okay, then we have candles. Siberian pine and smoked wood very Christmassy okay the reason why I'm a bit excited is because I really love this brand I love the way they take time to package stuff I love the design and I love the scents and I have a lot of their candles <sighs> oh my god just look at this it smells absolutely divine I'm gonna have to burn this for Christmas beautiful beautiful scent next up in the package we have got um siberian pine and winter rose as well oh. okay it comes out this way oh it is soaps i believe oh oh beautiful so just look at this look at this mm -hmm. it smells so good it smells so good up next we've got another candle and this is siberian pine and candid ginger i love ginger ginger and lemon tea the best especially if you feel like you're coming down with a cold or something look at the packaging again this attention to detail absolutely divine oh my days this is so beautiful candles sorted for the season that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying okay that's it from carrier frizz up next we've got one from a brand called may cassidy and she does these beautiful handbags that 
and made in India and you'll be able to tell because of the designs, the attention to details, absolutely beautiful. She sent me this uh, for a lovely Christmas card which I'm gonna open. I love receiving cards, it's a nice touch. I feel like it, ma it makes the whole thing a bit more personalized. Dear Oni, we hope you love and treasure your handmade May Casty bag. We can't wait to see how gorgeous you look with the emerald babby bracelet clutch from our new Greenwit Envy collection. Wishing you a wonderful Christmas with love, May Cassidy. So this is from their new collection and this one is called, um, th that collection is called um, Greenwit Envy. So this is what it looks like. This room protected nicely. <gasps> this is the bag. So this is what the bag looks like. How stunning is this? <laughs> it's just a perfect evening bag, perfect for the season, but also going out in the evenings if you've got a date. Let's see, how does this open or where does this open from? Yeah, so it opens from here like Put it down like this and you lift lift it up here to open it and this is what it looks like inside i'm not sure you can take a mobile phone can it who knows but yeah this is what it looks like stunning isn't it look at these details beautiful next stop is a package from a brand i really love and they're called Yoke, as you can see. And they invited me to their pop-up store to check out their latest collection. And here I have got a very colorful postcard from them and an envelope for me to write a Christmas note. And they gifted me with um, a set of PJs, which is perfect for the season. Da, da, I don't think you've seen anything like this before. Look at this. Because it is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And of course, matching sets. Beautiful. I will be styling this. Maybe I will wear this on Christmas Day. My Christmas suit. This is what I'll be wearing. <laughs> Next, we have got a tiny little package from Fairfax and Favor. They're a brand that make a lot of goods like shoes, handbags and all of that. And they have sent me a Christmas ball um, to put on my Christmas tree, which is great. It actually works beautifully. Yeah, matches with my Christmas tree. Let's put it right here. There you go, easy peasy. Next stop is a package from Perfumes de Mali. And they have sent me a package quite recently because I've only just discovered this brand and I'm just gonna take up this beautiful ribbon to open it up. Let's see what's inside. Oh, a nice card. Nicely wrapped, I love it. I'm just gonna take it out rather than undo the bow because it is so pretty. Let's see what the card says. Oh, let's look at this, but also look at this. Let's read it. Dare to dream. That is what I say. Oh my God, this is so beautiful dare to dream i mean you have nothing to lose by dreaming i feel like everything that's happened to me in my lifetime is because i had the courage to dream it's not because i'm better than anyone else who's out there it's because i actually believed in myself and dreamt that i could 
achieve anything I set my mind to and I don't always succeed but each time I fail there is a lesson to be learned and I feel like it is a character building exercise that is making me better to um, enhance myself in order to become the woman that I need to be in order to achieve those goals and those dreams that I have envisioned for myself but yeah let us read the card but that alone in itself has made me happy as well so to Oni, wishing you a wonderful holiday season please find perfumes the Mali Cassili fragrance to wear our new Perfumes de Mali boutique will be opening in Covent Garden very soon and we would be delighted to welcome you for a fragrance consultation. We'll be in touch closer to the time with warm wishes, the Perfumes de Mali team. Absolutely beautiful. I shall be looking forward to going in there and discovering the new location at Covent Garden in London, which means I will be going down to London in the new year. So this is the perfume they were talking about. Let's pop it open. Their packaging is quite nice. So I think I'm gonna unbox this and just show you what the scent um, looks like. Yes, this is it. Let's get a bit of a spray. Okay. Mm. Mm. Smells divine. <laughs> I don't know what the notes are, but it'd be interesting. The elegant and refined. Fragrances to be used the splendor of the 18th century. I don't know what the notes are, so I have to check that up online. But yeah, it smells great. It is a scent I will definitely be wearing come the new year. Perfect. Next is a gift from a brand called Raven James. It was started by a content creator called Fleur the First, if I believe, and her team sent me this lovely bracelet, which is blue and gold. Don't know if you can see the design, but I'm going to bring it closely so you can see. Yeah, it's a lovely bracelet from her latest collection, which I guess is very in keeping with the season. Next, I've got a lovely little gift from Fenton. They are the ones who designed and made my wedding ring, which I'm not wearing at the moment, but they have sent me a lovely Christmas note and a gift card to spend in this store worth a hundred pounds, which is nice. I haven't looked um, at their store in a while, but they do make the best jewellery and they can make you your own customised jewellery. I've seen the Diana ring that they remade or reimagined and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, the Christmas card reads, Dear Oni, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We hope to see you again in 2023 in Manchester or London with Love, Sitch. Yeah nice and sweet yes because they did come to manchester over the summer i got to see them for a lovely ring consultation up next we have got a package from giorgio armani which is a brand i love working with um you know my foundation and, and concealer at the moment is by Giorgio Armani. There's a nice note here. Dear Oni, wishing you a wonderful holidays and a happy new year from Armani Beauty. It's a little gift from us to you. Please find and close a C Passion Eclat and our iconic lip power. We look forward to working with you in the new year. Best wishes, the Armani Beauty team at Armani. So yeah. So I've got a lip power lipstick and I've got the Amani C Passion. It is beautiful. Um, I would show you what um, this bottle actually looks like. So I don't need to open this one because I've got one already in my perfume stand open. But um, the lipstick 
it's very nice oh it's a deep red and i love a good red lipstick <laughs> perfect for the season perfect for the season thank you armani beauty team i'll quickly show you what this perfume actually looks like this is what the armani c passion eclat perfume looks like it's a beautiful scent a beautiful scent okay i'll put that away up next we have got shoes from pretty ballerina they make absolutely beautiful shoes and sometimes they do make handbags and this is the pouch that comes for you to put your shoes in especially if you're traveling oh the shoe is diva just take a look at this take a look at these shoes baby just take a look absolutely beautiful beautiful just stunning perfect for the season just look at the detail beautiful love it next up we have got shoes from North Florandol, um, they're a brand that I actually love. I own and I bought at least four pairs of your shoes and they finally noticed me because I've been tagging them <laughs> on Instagram and they decided to reach out to send me a pair of shoes. These shoes are pumps and they remind me of the Valentino shoes. This is an ivory. I do love a pump hill because, I mean, stilettos are great, but they're not great for walking in cobblestones because they get trapped and then the heels get ruined, which you then have to pay money to fix and all of that. It's a whole lot of kerfuffle, if you ask me. Um, so here we are. What? they look like I cannot wait to style them ah oh, the last but not the least I did get some gifts from a brand called Goodwood because I went to the Goodwood festival this year and it was amazing it's a festival where all the vintage lovers gather around and there's like a vintage fair vintage stores there's like vintage car racing it is beautiful I was there with Hill House Vintage and the Goodwood team and a lovely guy from America called Dandy Wellington who is so you know enamored by the vintage era his lifestyle actually embodies it beautifully and yeah good would send me these vintage um candle um stands <laughs> which are just so beautiful and they also sent me <laughs> vintage christmas tree decorations which is in keeping with the tradition of um not having to always splodge out on something new so this is something probably from the 50s or 60s or the 70s i'm not quite sure but very colorful for christmas indeed and that's it folks that is it that brings us to the end of this vlog thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope you have enjoyed this vlog and i hope you do have a lovely christmas until next time take good care of yourself and i will see you later take care bye